Okay, first of all, shout out to the guy, I think it was three nights ago, I was playing MGM, I was at a table on the rail, and a guy just walked by and screamed, rice is a spoon food. So, didn't get his name or anything, he didn't stop, but shout out to that guy. So one of the reasons that I correct a dealer mistake, or a floor mistake, is to save time. That's probably the big one, because if you let a mistake go, and then someone realizes it later, and they speak up at the worst possible time, which they love doing, it's like their number one hobby, it takes a lot of time to like go back a few minutes and correct everything. Another reason I correct dealer mistakes and floor mistakes is if an incorrect ruling or procedure will mean the worst player at the table misses out on some money directly or indirectly. So if you're wondering, I'm underneath the monorail platform at Bally's. So this rule can get a little confused by people. If someone bets, say someone bets $20, and someone accidentally throws out 30, well, a raise from 20 is another 20, it's 40. Half of that raise is an extra 10. That's 30. So if someone throws out 30, it doesn't matter what the intent was. It's half of a legal minimum raise, you make that player put out a legal minimum raise 40. If the guy is all in for 30, that's way different. He doesn't have any more chips, so you can't make him put out 40. A bet of 20, an all in of 30, and that's it. It gets back to the original guy, and the betting has not reopened. It only reopens if there was actually a raise. An all-in for less than a legal minimum raise does not reopen the betting. A lot of people confuse it. They think if someone's all-in and they put in half of a legal minimum raise, the betting has reopened for everybody. That's not how it works. So there was a hand in Council Bluffs, and this table, there were two guys who you really wanted to be winning every hand when you weren't in the hand, so that they had more money to lose to you later. So there was a hand. There was a player who had a pretty good idea of what he was doing. He made a bet, there were a lot of calls. I don't remember the amount, say the bet was 50. A bunch of calls, and then a guy goes all in for 80. If he had many more chips behind, because that is at least half of the raise from 50 to 100, we would make him put out 100 and the betting would be reopened. But he's all in for 80, that's it. The original better who bet 50 can't raise. His options are call the additional 30 or fold. So I know what he wants to do. He wants the betting to be reopened. He'll go all in. Everyone else except the all in player will fold. There will be a lot of dead money. I don't want, one of those callers was like the worst player at the table. I don't want that guy to get, you know, cheated out of seeing the next card. I want him in so that he has the possibility of winning the hand. I want him to win that hand, I want him to win all that money, and he will definitely lose it back later, and I'm hoping to me. So, the dealer got it wrong, the dealer said the betting's reopened, and the original better is about to go all in. I say, no, it's not. It's not a legal minimum raise. 50 to 80 is not a raise, the betting's not reopened. They call the floor. This floor was not great with rulings. She was pretty good with uh, seating people and table changes, just was not good with rulings. So she comes over, she listens, and she like, she's on the fence about what to say, she doesn't quite understand herself, so before she says something definitive, I just say, 50 has to go to 100 for the betting to be reopened, 80 does not reopen it, everyone's option now is call the extra 30 or fold. So she goes, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> so, so the guy, the original better who really wants to re-raise and get everyone else to fold besides the all-in player. He goes, well don't just go by that guy, what's the actual ruling? And she's about to speak, but I know she doesn't quite know why what I'm saying is correct. So before she could even get a word out, I just stop her and say, you need a raise for the betting to be reopened. From 50, that's $100. This guy didn't even have a hundred dollars. It's impossible for him to raise. And without a raise, the betting's not reopened. Everyone's option is fold or call the extra 30. And then she just said, uh, yeah, that's right. And then she walked away. It was the correct ruling. Um, most of the reason I stepped in and told everybody that was to benefit 
everyone who wasn't in the hand so that the uh, worst player had the possibility of winning and he could lose to us later. He did get to the next street. He didn't end up winning the hand, but I gave him the possibility of winning the hand, which was uh, the goal. So don't be afraid to speak up if you're correcting a dealer or a floor. There's a lot of times they get calls wrong. They get them right most of the time, but there's a lot of times they get them wrong and you don't want a wrong call to uh, mess up your money. So if someone throws out 30, it doesn't matter what the player's intent is. He goes now arriving, northbound platform. Next stop is Flamingo Caesar's Palace Station. Please allow passengers to exit before boarding. So before she gets a word out, I say, it was 50. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. All right, first of all, shout out to the guy. It was two or three nights ago. I was playing at MGM. Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is Valley's and Paris Las Vegas station. I was playing at MGM. I was at a table on the rail. Will you shut up? And its iconic fountain show. 